In this video, we're going to begin our discussion with graphing quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a function of a form f of x equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a cannot equal 0. Why cannot a equals not equal 0? Well, if I plug in a here, this term becomes 0, and I have bx plus c. That is a linear function, not a quadratic function. So examples of quadratic functions I'm going to draw below. Notice either the parabola will open upwards or downwards here. So the vertex is the high or the low point of a parabola, and the axis of symmetry is the line that intersects the parabola at the vertex. So let me include both of those in our pictures above. So the dots represent the vertices, and the dotted line is the equation for the axis of symmetry. Notice it is a vertical line, so that equation is x equal to a number. So the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equal to negative b over 2a. And keep in mind, because it is intersecting the vertex, it's also the x-coordinate for the vertex of a parabola. So the vertex formula is this negative b over 2a is the domain value. You plug that value into the function to get what the range value is for the vertex. So let's calculate the vertex for this quadratic function. So the axis of symmetry That equation is x equal to negative b over 2a. b is 2, and a is 1. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equal to negative 1. Now, let's plug in negative 1 into the function. When we simplify, we get this. So the vertex is negative 1, negative 9. So now I want to start graphing quadratic functions. One way I could do this is to determine the vertex, then calculate the intercepts, then determine the free point by using the axis symmetry and the y-intercept, and then graphing all of those points on the coordinate plane. So let's graph the function by calculating the vertex, the intercepts, and the free point. Well, let's calculate the vertex first. In order for us to do that, though, I need to know what the equation for the axis of symmetry is going to be. Since we've already done this problem, we know what the equation for the axis of symmetry is and the vertex, so I'll write it now. Now, let's start calculating the intercepts. So we'll start with the x-intercept. We know f of x is 0. This is factorable. Set each factor that contains a variable equal to 0. So we get negative 4 and 2, and I can write them as ordered pairs like this. All right, let's calculate the y-intercept. y-intercept, x is 0, so plug in 0 into the function. So 0 squared is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, minus 8. That simplifies to negative 8, so the y-intercept is 0, negative 8. So let's plot the vertex and the intercepts on the coordinate plane. So the points are in black, and I've also graphed the equation for the axis of symmetry in red. Now, notice the two x-intercepts are symmetrical to each other across the axis of symmetry, and the vertex is symmetrical to itself across the axis of symmetry. But there's no point that is symmetrical yet to the y-intercept across the axis of symmetry. Well, from the axis of symmetry to the y-intercept, I can go one to the right on the x-axis. 
So if I start from the axis of symmetry and go to the left one, I have another point that is on the graph. That red point is what is called the free point. And the ordered pair for the free point is negative 2, negative 8. So now I can connect all the dots. So now the quadratic function is graphed.